Hey, Cyrax. Hello? Hey. Um, hey, what's your name? Nothing. So I, I was able to talk to the goons. And they feel that the easiest way to resolve this for everyone is as what you had asked for, to get her to, to take him out, you know what I mean? To just have her out of your hair. Um, yeah. There's just kind of one complication, and I don't know how you feel about this, but... What's that? Um, they, they don't want to leave any witnesses. And... What do you mean, witnesses? Man, there is no witnesses. Well, I'm just saying, I think she's going to probably be at home when this happens. Well, do whatever you got to do, man. I don't give a fuck what you do. You didn't, just remember, man. You did this order. It didn't come from me. Okay. This is all, man. Like all right, I said, so from here on out, it's your call. I got nothing to do with it. Okay. Um, so let me... And it's not that... Not that I'm trying to be a dick. I just don't want to involve the criminal. You know what I mean? No, I hear you. I hear you. So I guess in order to avoid that, let's speak hypothetically here. Um, and we'll use the Hitler example, you know, because I think that's a great analogy. Like if it was 1935. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I do like what you want. And honestly, I do like what you said. If you really think about it, she kind of is. If you really think about it, I mean... The people that she's fucked over and the people that she's hurt. So I get where you're coming from with that. So I guess it becomes a, a, just a little bit more complicated. Um, but I still think the answer remains that if you had to kill Hitler and his wife and kids to kill Hitler, I would be. I would think that that'd be something that would be okay. Yeah, like you know, like I said, like I don't want any harm to come to the kids or anything. But, you know, if it comes to it, it has to come to it, you know? Like, I'm not trying to be an evil kid here. No. I'm really not. I just, like I said, I don't care what you do. Like I said, this is not my call. You're the shot caller on this, sure. not me. I have no person that's raised, man. Like, this is your thing, dude. You got but it. But like I said, do whatever you think. Do whatever you feel you have to, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I think... Like, whatever you... I think if you put it like this, too, that, you know, because Kate's got to go, it would almost be cruel to have her kids have to grieve and mourn. It would almost just be better if they were put out of it with her. You know, that's a sick way of looking at it, but I I, I think that's, yeah. I think it's got to be done. And there is another way that, you know, there are. Uh I'm not trying to get involved in any criminal shit here, but yeah. believe it or not, I do have a very twisted, fucked up mind. Yeah. So, like, what I'm saying is, like, I know it's going to sound pretty wrong, though, don't get me wrong, sure. but, you know, accidents have been known to happen on a highway or whatever. <laughs> you so, know, accidents have been known to happen. So, are you saying, like, cutting a brake line or just smashing into her? Not what I'm saying, but like, yeah. Well, so what are you saying? You know, I'm just. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut the door here. Sure. Well, what I'm saying is, you know, use your imagination, man. Like whatever you want to do, man. Like when use your imagination. Like, let me ask you this, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's say the roles were. All right, let's say for just hypothetically speaking, let's say I was Kate. Yeah. And you wanted, you wanted to keep the kids alive, and you wanted her gone. All right? What's the way that you would do it to, you know, be able to keep the kids alive, but also get rid of her in the process without there being any witnesses? What would you do? Well, I would think, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not a... I'm not a goon. I just know how these guys operate. I would think that their number one concern Let's is... Let's put it this way, dude. Let's put it this way, man. To get away something like this, you got to think how you're doing. But, dude, they're ultimately your goons. Yes. So whatever move they make, you got to think how they think. Yeah. And know you, so let me put it this way. It's kind of like a, um, 
kind of, I know this is kind of like an old school one here, but think art of war. Mm -hmm. To beat your enemy first, you must know your enemy. Yeah. Think about it. So what is Kate Think about like? That. like what? Let's see, let's put it this way. If you were one of the goons, let's say you were one of the hired goons. Mm -hmm. Like for pure example, let's say that I was you, and you were one of our goons, and I hired you, and I told you to get rid of somebody, however you want. Okay? However you felt that you wanted. What would be the way that you would do it without getting caught or anyone finding out? What's the way that you would do it? Well, you know, I'm I'm not a hired goon, so I don't think that I would do that. But if I was, I would say that um, probably I would case out their house, much like the goons were doing with you. I would get, like, every angle of it. I would know who's coming and going, which is kind of like what they were doing with you. Um, uh, and, and then I would just apply that to Kate, but... You know, I, I guess, you know, since, like, you don't leave... There's your answer. Yeah, I mean, but I think There's she's, like... Answer. I think she's like you in that she doesn't leave the house a whole lot, though. Mm. All right, so... Let's apply that. Hmm. She doesn't leave the house a whole lot. There's got to be a way to make something happen to look like an accident. Hmm. Maybe. See what I'm getting at? Yeah, I would say maybe like a house fire, but I don't know if that would kill her necessarily. Well, let's see. If you did it right, you potentially could. That's true. That's something to consider. Um... That would definitely look what like I'm an accident. Thinking, what I'm saying is this, like, and don't say it. This is, this is not being recorded, is it? No. Of course not. It's, this is like as criminal as fuck. Yeah, yeah, because what I'm thinking is this, okay? Have them go about the house like they did with me. I know when she's coming and going. And have them keep an eye on the house. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, periodically, like not all the time to where it's noticeable, but like just enough to where they know when she comes and goes. Mm -hmm. And let's just say that if she has a pilot stove or some kind of stove and you set it up properly, the minute she opens that door, bye bye house and bye bye Kate. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And every, well, I guess everyone in it too, but. Uh, bye bye, Kate. Still, and exactly. Like I said, I am. Well, like I said, you know, like I don't hate your kids. I can never hate, you know, a child. Yeah. Like unless they did something severely demonic or evil, you know. Yeah. But if you can make it look like a fire, like an accident. Yeah, like a gas. Leak that explosion. Exactly. That could work. I mean, you granted, yeah, I know I'll probably, granted, yeah, I know I'll probably be grilled for this. But I mean, I doubt they would come back. My question is, if it did go down like that, or she died at all, would we all live in like? Would we be questioned, or would we be looked at? We might. We might be suspected but you know there is I, I have a throwaway phone that I get rid of at the end of every week it's just prepaid um, I, I use it strictly for business and I, I just throw it in the lake and you know they, as soon as this was done I would, I would do the same thing like I said all of this this on you I want no part of this criminal activity. I like I said, you do what you have to do. Okay? Yeah, they're my like goons. I said, if you get yeah, they're my goons. It's just some of, some of your ideas, but nobody needs to know that. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, you know, if 
you know, you get caught. Hey, that's on you. I got no horse in that race. That's on you, man. No, I hear you. I but hear from you. From here on out, it's no offense to you, Marty. Mm-hmm. Like, it's been a good run, dude. Yeah. But as of right now, and like, and don't take this the wrong way, I'm just looking out for myself and my family. Mm-hmm. But as from here on out, I have no association with you from here on out, whatever you do. Hey, that's on you. So good luck to you, man. And okay, to hope you don't end up. Okay. 